A makeshift traffic circle of sorts in East Marion is indicative of how far things have gone south for so many families. Oh God, this means a whole lot to me. How many families today? Two, two please. Tuesdays are pretty crazy, they're our biggest distribution. The drive through outside East Marion PHC has been slammed since they began here in April. People, I think, have heard about it and they need it. And so we've actually just seen our numbers grow and grow as the pandemic's gone on. It's part of our job right now. I mean, I think it's just something that needs to happen. Foothills Food Hub distributes 35,000 pounds of food to 1,000 households each week, including lots of produce. They stepped up and filled the void left behind when Clinchfield United Methodist closed its pantry because of COVID-19 concerns. Most of the church's volunteers are older adults at higher risk for severe illness. Foothills Food Hub took up the mantle. So we needed to make sure that we were still serving those that needed food right now, especially when the economy wasn't necessarily in a good place and folks were losing their jobs. They have inventory from Mana Food Bank and the USDA, which provides boxes through the federally funded Farmers to Families program. Many share that food with loved ones and neighbors. If I get this food and somebody else might need it, so I go give it to the other person, that might need some more food too. It, it helps out a lot. It helps the uh, community and... I'm glad they're doing it. Foothills Food Hub is close to distributing an astounding 1 million pounds this year. Remarkable considering in January they handed out about 50 boxes every other week. Now they average 1,000 boxes each week. I hate seeing food waste, so I love getting food to people who need it and not just wasting in shelves. The need shows no signs of dropping off. So on any given Tuesday, a long line winds around the parking lot in search of relief in a box. And it's just amazing how much food we can get out to people who need it. In East Marion, John Lee, News 13.